Jersey girls who have been screaming non-stop for the last 10 minutes. This is now a bit of a quiet song, hence uh, they've, they've sort of calmed down, but uh, you will hear the screams very shortly. Earlier, we met up with two of the band members, the leader, Itook, and she won, who's considered the most handsome, to talk about how Super Junior became a Korean phenomenon. Thank you for joining CNN's iList in South Korea. Now, the group has just celebrated five years together. How did you form? Some of us auditioned and some of us were cast by SM Entertainment. There are a lot of boy bands in Korea, and they all sing and dance, but we wanted to challenge things and try something more innovative. Super Junior was created based on the idea that the members would not only be able to sing and dance, but also be radio hosts, act and be active in many other fields. Now the internet is huge here in South Korea, and I presume it's a very powerful tool that, that you both use, uh, social media, Twitter, Facebook, to communicate with your fans. Tell us about the, the power of the internet with your fans. A lot of people tend to believe we don't really have a life and are encaged in some way. So we use social media a lot to show people slices of our personal life. There are not many opportunities to communicate with our Asian fans because we're in Korea most of the time. We visit other Asian countries once every half a year at the most. So in order to communicate with our fans, services like Twitter are very useful. We can post something and fans will read it and share their opinions online. So it's a good channel to use to check up on our fans and show them what we're up to. I liked him like four or five years. Yeah. So it's love, it's true love. Yeah, it's true love. <laughs> I love Super Junior. I love Super Junior, Super Junior forever. Anna Corrin, CNN, Seoul.